cooking with Bobby Joe Chastity here today. Bobby Joe's out in the backyard. She's playing with her new brother Jackson. Those two like to chase each other around the yard all morning. Today I'm going to be doing something different, something I've never done before. I'm doing a product review. I'm not being paid to do this review. I've never been paid to do anything on YouTube. Now for those of y'all that know me, you know that I don't care for kitchen gadgets. They're just going to clutter up what little bit of counter space I have. I didn't have an electric can opener because the old-fashioned hand-powered ones work just fine. Plus they work even when the power goes out. Now I will admit the hand ones have been difficult on me since my hands hurt so much. And those of you that are new to my channel may not know about my COVID battles. It's been a long 15 months. I got COVID the summer of 2020 and I'm what some call a COVID long hauler. Although I don't like that term. COVID did a lot of damage that I'm still working through. And I have some videos on my COVID struggles on Odyssey because the treatments that I'm using are not allowed to be mentioned on YouTube. So I just moved all those videos over to Odyssey so that way I'm obeying YouTube's new policies. Anyway, COVID affected my brain, my heart, my lungs, esophagus, joints, nerves, and the nerves in my hands and feet. And I'm sure me being overweight made things a lot worse, but I've been working on that as well. As far as my hands, especially my left hand hurts, and I'm not able to use my hands the way I once could. I mean, I work my way around the pain and figure out other ways of doing things, and it isn't so terrible that I can't use them at all, but I'm just telling you all this so you have an idea on why I love this can opener so much. My in-laws had no idea about my hand issues when they gave this can opener to us. They bought one for themselves. They loved it so much, so they gave us one. And this is one of those appliances I didn't realize I needed until I started using it. Let me show you how it works. These cans are the worst for me. My hands and fingers hurt too much to do the pop top lids. I don't have enough strength in my hands anymore to pull those lids off. But with this can opener, I can still open it up. And the way it cuts the lids off, there's no sharp edges, so there's nowhere to cut yourself on the cans. This can is smooth, if you can tell where it was cut, because it removes the entire top. And the lid will also fit back on the can, so if you wanted to stick it back on the can and store it in the fridge, you can. So not only is it easy for people with arthritis and hand pain, but it also gets rid of any chance of being cut on the can or on the lid after the lid is removed. I still have my hand held for when the power goes out, but this one is super handy to have around. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase one if you're interested. And I hope y'all found this helpful. Now we're going to be doing a weird food combo challenge video this evening. Lone Star Pioneering challenged me to the weird food combo challenge. Steve and Bobby Joe are going to join me. <laughs> I had to think of something that was kind of dog friendly so she could try it too since this channel is named after her and this should be interesting. Bobby Joe will probably like it because dogs like everything, right? <laughs> We should have the video posted tomorrow. We would do a live, but I don't think we have enough subscribers for a live and not sure how all of that works anyway. So we will do this video this evening and post it tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Also Wednesday, we'll be making more human food. I had someone ask me if grits cakes could be baked in the oven and I wasn't sure because I've only ever fried them. So finally, I got around to trying to figure out an oven baked grits cake recipe that worked and I did and it is delicious. And I also had someone ask me how I store my grits for a year. We go up to the old mill store in Pigeon Forge once a year and we stock up on fresh grits. So I will show you how I store them. Okay, that's it for now. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and y'all have a very blessed week.